All right, so for this one, let's just do some cleanup. So I'm going to be inside the player blueprint. And let's establish some more categories for all this stuff to go in. So I'm going to, you can highlight any of your variables. And over in the details panel, there's a category drop down. You can either set it into one that's already been established. I'm going to type in and create one. I like to keep all my booleans in one place and then inventory stuff in its own. So I'm going to set this one to boo booleans. And I'm just going to drag them up and drop all my booleans in that one. So keeping everything kind of organized can really make it easier if I need to go back and adjust any of my booleans I know exactly where to go if I need to adjust any of my um, player stats like we talked about before or the gear stuff like that so speaking of gear that's where I'm going to put my sword and shield info so I'll store that in the gear and the shield and the accessory the sword reference and the shield reference now for the inventory I'm going to create its own little category I'm going to go ahead and store the interactables in range in the inventory as well just because you know basically anything we're interacting with unless it's doors or puzzles things later on that'll be basically that so the inventory will go in there the menu can go in there because it has to do with that uh, the HUD reference I'm actually going to put under the player actually you know what they should get their own category so I'm just going to create a new category HUD and then I'll put the menu reference in there also so attack type I'll put that under player stats as well as the combo so now that's a little bit neater and be easier to find like I need to adjust my booleans they're all here anything to do with gear is here and it rhymes so it's fancy right all right now I'm going to clean up the graph a little bit so this is the interact so you can just box select stuff, hit C on the keyboard, and it'll put this comment box around them. And then you can name it. And then the cool thing about that is you can just grab the whole thing and move it wherever you want. So I'm going to back that up. Kind of encompass it for our jump system. Uh, oh, another cool thing. Like, so this is the interaction system. But this is what handles the interactables in range. So these two kind of go together. So what you can do is I'm just going to drag that down. I'm going to box select and comment this out as interactable handler. And then you can change the actual comment color. So I'm going to make this like a, a bluish color like that. And then I can set it inside this comment box. It's distinguished from the other one. And they're combined so that you can move them around a little bit easier. A little bit easier is the words I was trying to get out. So this is my equipping the sword. So equip melee. This is the menu. So box select and menu. Let's see, this is going to be camera shift. I'm going to move this this way. For the begin play, just in case we need something else on it, I always add a sequence. So I'm going to put these in their own category. And then this is just player. HUD. So that way if we need to move this one far away because we got something else for the begin play. It's just 
a little bit easier I find so then we can kind of just stack everything around how we like just makes it look a little bit neater easier whoa why is that out I must have added to it afterwards so yeah you can resize comment boxes and all that I'm gonna set this right here this one right here so this way we can have the ranged attack system under it when we get to the bow and all that and that's looking good I'll save everything real quick get rid of some of these swords out here don't need you Clean up some of this stuff, like closing these things that we don't need. Uh, we are going to go over uh, spawning the gear on the sides of the character later on, and we'll update our destroy gear to where instead of destroying it, it just moves it back to the unequipped slot. But for now, I'm just going to close them. So spawn gear looks good. Pick up item, that's fine. Use item. Health item, mana item, sword shield. I didn't add the accessory. So I'm going to go to my interaction system, to my item type. I want to make sure I've saved. Because I've noticed sometimes when you try to add to enumerators later on, it sometimes messes up just a little bit. So I'm going to add accessory and move this up next to sword shield and accessory save that real quick and then we'll need to go back into the player blueprint and compile it so that it adds it right there and we already have the accessory info in here I think so we'll start moving on to that in a bit actually I think this one's been a pretty short video so far Less than eight minutes. Yeah, I'll add that real quick. Why not? Why not? So we got change sword, change shield. Let us change accessory. So just like last, the changing sword and shield, this is going to take an item info. Item info struct. to move this up and then under my player stat no where's my gear All right we will just set that to that for now so later on we'll go over actually uh, updating stats based on that accessory but for now just a little cleanup just to kind of get everything organized you know all that jazz so alright in the next one we'll start going over our attack trace function so we can start applying damage so see you there bye bye